guitaristas, my name is Adina and you are watching the Spanish Guitar Hub. I hope you have a wonderful day. In London it is quite beautiful at the moment because it is autumn, so I love the smell, I love the colors, I love going to the forest uh, and uh, to be honest this is my favorite season, so it's very beautiful to wake up for this one. A lot of you were asking me what kind of guitar I use, um, especially this is the most frequent question that the people ask me, so I decided to make a video about it. So, um, I, my guitar is actually a Yamaha NCX 900 FM guitar, which is designed for Gabriela. If you don't know it, uh, she is one of the guitarists of Rodrigo e Gabriela, and this is a truly amazing band. So if you haven't heard about them, check them out because you will be surprised and you will become a fan like me. <laughs> Um, and uh, this is like a cheaper version which is designed for uh, her and actually I was looking for a long time to find a guitar like this for a lot of different reasons uh, I wanted to have a cutaway guitar which is this one uh, so I can reach um, a little bit higher sometimes I'm playing higher um, over the 12th fret and it is quite difficult to do that one when you have just like a classical or even a flamenco guitar so I was looking for a Spanish guitar I modified it so the strings are closer on the 12th fret they were like three millimeters but now they are only two millimeters uh, so it has a little bit of buzzing sound and uh, also it's easier to play on it so it sounds a bit better for me actually on flamenco guitars the strings are closer on the 12th fret than in classical guitars um, so I wanted to have uh, something similar sound to that one and that's why I asked them to modify it but really the best about this guitar, it is um, actually the pickup. Yamaha makes like really amazing pickups and uh, I have like a guitar duo, which is called the Fuego and we play Spanish guitar and we travel around UK most of the time to play here and there. And sometimes we are playing in like smaller venues and the sound system is not so nice. And actually I played with quite a few people whose guitar was like feedbacking and it can be quite annoying especially when you are in the middle of the song and it, you hear this kind of buzzing sound um, but it never ever happened with my guitar so the pickup is really great and it can work with any kind of PA even if it is like a bad one and also it has like two different pickups uh, which is one in the wood and one in the string uh, because sometimes it is quite difficult to amplify exactly what um, I play and I want that the people hear, hear it how it exactly sounds but when you are on stage and you amplify and if the guitar has only one pickup you, they won't hear this kind of percussive sound that I have and I just wanted to show you how it would sound when I plug this guitar into an amplifier and you will see what I meant about amplification of the wood and also of the strings. So now I plugged it in and I'm actually using a Cube Street amplifier. It is really great. I used to be a busker uh, when I came to London and I bought it back then. Uh, but now I'm still using it because it gives me a freedom to play anywhere I want. Sometimes in the gigs it is difficult to find electricity. So, But uh, with this uh, ampli amplification you can uh, sit anywhere you want and it gives you the freedom to play anywhere you want. And uh, let's see how does it sound when it is amplified. But um, this was like um, when I'm like covering somebody uh, on the stage and it is great to amplify for that one. Uh, but it sounds uh, very beautiful, this guitar, when it's plugged in, when I play, for example, classical guitar. Thank you. 
enjoyed this video and if you would like to support me even more then please go to my co patreon campaign and pledge for me there i'm like sharing tips as well uh, with the people who are supporting me and many other stuff and see you guys next sunday with another guitar video would you like to play like this?